Jack Vander, thank you for being with us. We're extremely glad and happy to host you here in Amman. You came as part of a group of uh, famous uh, American filmmakers and an actor too. Yes. And you're conducting a series of workshops with Jordanian right. uh, filmmakers, some right. inspiring, some more experienced. So, of course, you're, a lot of your work is quite well known, in fact, in Jordan, starting with uh, Game of Thrones, Lost, two TV series, which you've directed several episodes of them. And you've been also nominated for the Emmy Award for uh, the episode The Door for... Uh, yes. And this is extremely popular here. Yeah, I know. Believe me, I've heard. Uh, my first question would be rather, how is it to direct, to have different directors for the same TV series? It's quite unusual here in the Arab world to have that probably because people are afraid of losing coherence, of losing mm -hmm. the biggest picture. Right. So what are the major challenges that you faced? Well, first of all, television used to be, everything was, let's say, 22 to 24 episodes. When I did Lost as exec producer, even though I directed the majority of them over the six years we were on, there were 22 to 24, sometimes 26 episodes a season. So there's no way as a director you can direct them all. But now, like this show I just finished, which is a Stephen King book called Mr. Mercedes, and it's on in the States, and I understand a lot of people who've seen it here, which really excites me, even though I don't know how they get it, like they get everything. But um, I was exec producer. I got the book from Stephen King, and I directed seven out of 10 of the episodes and next season I will direct them all for the very reason you're saying. It just, I've got these wonderful actors like Brendan Gleeson and Mary Louise Parker and just these Harry Treadaway, these wonderful actors. And when I establish the show as a director, everybody gets used to what we're making and we're all doing the same thing. And when another director comes in, it's hard on the director. The other director may be brilliant but it's hard on the director and it takes like if you shoot let's say seven or ten days for an episode it takes a couple two three days for the director to be comfortable with the actors and the crew so it is not the healthiest of processes which is why more often now directors who are directing limited series or ten episodes shows are tending to direct them all so that's changing a little so it's moving to one director for the whole? Um, probably, it's, it's not quite half and half, but it's moving in that direction. Okay. So for you, what was the biggest challenge when you, for instance, directed The Door? Well, to the point you made before, even though David and Dan had asked me to do the show from the beginning, and I never could, and then they didn't ask again until season five. But thankfully, I was available, and I did it and I'm very proud that I did. But I did go into that thinking, what can I possibly bring to the world's biggest show, to what people think is maybe the best show ever on television, or one of the greats? What can I bring to it season five as a director that, that they haven't already learned or done because they clearly know how to do this show brilliantly? And it, it goes beyond just what you do with the camera and what the shots are. I was very fortunate to have a DP, Jonathan Freeman, who had done the show many times. And so, and an AD who had done the show. And so he guided me through it in many ways. But basically what you have to, what I did was I went there very open and said, tell me, you know, I have my ideas. I bring a lot to the party thinking that it be, should be this way or that way, but you tell me what you think. So it was a collaboration. And I think whenever you go to a show like that, as a director, my attitude was always, if it's not my show, how do I do the best episode of Game of Thrones I can do? So you want to be open and you want to listen to all the brilliant people around you. Well, I'm, I'm sure you're subjective about it, but maybe you can be slightly objective. Can you tell us what is your favorite TV series? Um, so I won't say anything I've done because it's like a child. Um, I guess The Sopranos is right up there. Now, I did do five episodes of The Sopranos, so that may or may not count. I thought 
The Wire okay. was pretty extraordinary. Um, and I guess, you know, comedies are a different thing. But I guess in terms of dramatic television, I might say The Sopranos is right up there. You've had a small experience in acting. Yeah. You've produced and executive produced, and you've obviously directed, but mainly TVs. Have you ever considered moving to cinema? Well, you know, when I, when I started out as a director, I started out as an actor, then a director in the theater. Then I got my first breaks directing television. And I did a movie along the way, which will remain nameless. It was a horror film and it was kind of silly. Um, and then I wrote and directed my own film that was an independent film a long time ago, which was lovely, really good. Um, but I am so fulfilled when I can do television that's really good that I am one of the creator, one of the creators of. That at this point, and I still occasionally get offered movies. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel that I need to do a movie, a cinema, because I think that the work I do is cinematic. Mm -hmm. Certainly on Lost, everybody thought, my God, it's like movies. It's so big and intimate and you care about the people, but the, it's so cinematic. That was the first time I heard that word used about television direction. And I think that wasn't the first time that was true. But television was always viewed as this littler thing. Now, it's no mistake that the screens are getting smaller and in our homes they're the getting TVs, bigger. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it kind of is all, it's just storytelling and f I think it's all cinema. It, now, it's nice when you sit in the dark and the dogs aren't barking and people aren't reaching for the pizza while they're watching your show, which... I don't, I don't love, but that's the nature of a lot of television. That's the way it used to be, especially. And movies, you just sit in the dark and watch the dream. So I think that part of cinema is preferable. You've spent now three days almost with Jordanian, mm -hmm. uh, interested in working for TV, mm -hmm. whether writing or directing or even acting. Um, what are your first impressions? Was it more or less what you expected? I'd never been to Jordan, and uh, I've, I've, I was really struck by how beautiful it is and comfortable, and the people are so welcoming and warm that it's just wonderful. The students here are really, really smart, they're hungry, um, they're funny. And I hope they, if they really want to, they continue on the path because I think many of them really have the, the vision and the hunger to do it because it takes both. You've got to, a lot of people say no to you and you've got to just say, I'm going to make it anyway. So that would be your advice to those? Yeah, my advice would be keep believing in what you want to do and work hard to get to do it, really hard, and believe in yourself. Chuck Benders, thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you. you for being here. Thank, thank you. you for inviting me. Thank it's you. a pleasure. Thank you.